Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraft Tastic, and I'm going to do my catch all home planner, general planner spread today. But I also wanted to share these two half letter or junior size planners that I have. I picked up both of these covers last year on clearance from Staples. This red one I thought was perfect for Christmas. I changed the disc and put white discs on it. I kind of wanted that Santa Claus suit feel so the the white fur, the black belt, the red suit kind of feel. And then I also have this one. It's a pearly white with the silver Happy Planner heart discs on it. These are classic size discs. I think this one came with black discs. I think both of them came with black discs if I'm not mistaken. It may have been another color. I don't remember because I pretty much took them off immediately. But this is the one I've been using for my most recent plan with me's. And I actually pulled this one off the shelf just to take a look to see what I had in it getting ready for December. And so I have these die cuts and goodies tucked in pockets in the front here. I had a sheet of stickers from 2017. I couldn't find these stickers last year when I was looking for them, but now I know where they are. I have some of my own die cuts that are available in my shop at scrapcraftastic.com that I need to cut out and some other little stickers. Um, yeah for Christmas. So, and then this pocket template is also available in my shop. If you want to make a folder pocket for your disbound. But as I was flipping through, I saw all of this arc note paper or lined paper that I haven't used that I had no intention of using. So, I thought it would be a good idea to take a couple of pages out this week and actually do my planning I'm taking three for a reason and actually do my planning on the note paper that came with the art notebook now to plan you do not need to do um, a daily a, a weekly spread you can just write down what you need to do for the week I mean come on let's be real um, but it is fun and a creative outlet to actually create spreads, make it pretty, make it fun. And I feel like it takes some of the dread out of doing some of the things we have to do. Now granted, I feel like I don't really have a whole lot to do. I'm busy, but I don't feel like I have to plan out everything. I mean, a lot of things, I've been doing the same thing for years. So I know it's more of a notation of keeping up with information, that sort of thing, then I'm able to go back and see exactly what happened what day. So what I'm going to do with this third page is make myself a template. You've seen me do this before. I'm going to fold as close as I can this main area here. I'm going to ignore this and ignore this. So I'm going to try to match these up so that I can get half of that large box. Or as close to it as possible and then I'm going to fold over again so this will be a horizontal type spread and maybe we can come back next week and do a vertical I don't know I just really wasn't in the mood to plan today and then I saw that and it kind of just triggered something and I'm like oh I can do that so that's what we're doing <laughs> Okay, so I have my four boxes. One, two, three, four. And again, we need four on each page. You could do three on each page and then split the third one for Saturday and Sunday, but we're going to do it this way this time. And so then I'm just going to line this up with this page. And it's kind of hard for me to see my folds. But also we've done this before. And excuse my desk I've been crafting and I've got glue on it it's time for me to change up my background so I'm just going to take a pencil and kind of give myself a tick mark oops make sure it's straight and how you make sure something like this is straight make sure your edge at the bottom and the top are flush or aligned properly or however you want to 
say that just to make sure that they're lined up the same. And then this one is right here. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, and as I usually do, I'm going to keep this in this notebook. And because these are the same size, I'm taking the note paper out of this one and I will put it back in here. Okay, so since I don't have the grid or dots to guide me, I'll have to use the lines. But as you can see, my tick marks are not necessarily on the line. Um, but they are close. So I decided to use some of the date stickers from Crafting by the Pound. If you want to shop at Crafting by the Pound, you can use my code RACH15 for 15% off your order. Also, there is a Black Friday sale coming up. So go check out CraftingbythePound.com for information on that. And I think I'm going to use this color. I was grabbing for the pink, but let's do a color that I would normally use. And let me see. So these are date covers. Um, so we're going to use this to turn this into a weekly spread. Let's find some thin washi to go with this. I think that goes quite well. Even though the washi is more on the green side, I don't know. Let's see. I want to use stuff that I don't ordinarily use. That's kind of nice. It's awfully light, though. I think I'm going to use that. It's really tiny and dainty, but I think I'm going to use that. And then I also have my Birds on a Wire washi tape, which is here. So I'm going to use that because it kind of just reminds me of it with the color scheme that they have going on. So let's go ahead and map out our lines. Since I chose the hearts first, let's see what we can do with that. Okay, so we have these two blocks, or four blocks, up at the top. So I'm not going to be using those. So I think I'll take my birds on the wire and place that up there. So now let's go ahead and put down our days of the week. I think since this comes with it this week, I'm going to use it. I was going to um, not use it, but we're going to use it. Do I want to go this way? Or this way to take up less space. Let's see how this looks. I think I'm going to go that way. Let's try a couple more before I press them down completely and see how they look. And I didn't think that through very well because I didn't consider where I'm going to put the number. But today is the 17th, so that will make tomorrow the 18th. I think we can do it. Then on this side, I think I'm going to go down the other edge. 
so like this instead of going down that center edge. So by doing that, I'll have to put the date dot at the bottom instead of at the top. It's okay. And I probably should have did something down at the bottom to cover up where it says arc. Let's see what we can come up with in a minute. I don't think that's gonna make that big of a difference. I'm going to use my faux memo to print out the month. So I have all of the months of the year. This may be a little big, um, but I don't want to make it too much smaller. So let's just go down a little bit in size. Hopefully that's not going to be too small. Okay. Let's print. I'm gonna go thick. And I'm supposed to be experimenting with the translucent and the clear paper. I have not done that yet. Um, but that's gonna be my next thing to do. However, I didn't want to use something clear over here to cover this up, so. And I think this still might be too big. But we're going to make it work. Okay. So I printed all 12 months that I had hand lettered for me. But I am going to just use November for now. And I laid them out so that they have a little dashed mark in between. Or a dashed line in between so that I can easily cut them straight so I'll just put this aside save for another time and I'm going to use this to cover up where it says arc I'm trying not to cover the line so I have to trim off that little bit of excess. There we go. Even though this isn't fall looking, I am going to use my pumpkin list washi. I'm going to leave Saturday and Sunday because I don't want to put too much for myself to do. And this week is parent observation at ballet. So I will be busy observing three to four days. Um, here's my to-do stickers. I need to get some today stickers too. Do I want to put to do on every day? I don't think I do. I don't think one is enough. Because <laughs> I know what the list means. So, um, Laundry on Tuesday. Do I need to put this as a checklist item or over here? I'm going to put it over here. Because it's not, I need to send out some happy mail Monday. And let's put that first thing in the morning. And mailboxes, let's put payday down. And then 
is also payday. Let's get the ballet stickers down. Payday up some. I spend the most time relocating stickers. That should show you I'm pretty much flying by the seat of my pants <laughs> when I'm doing this. I'm not, I mean, I know what I got to do for the week, but I usually, and I know what kind of style I want sometimes as far as the layout, but. I don't know where I'm putting stickers at. Just put them down. Oops. I didn't tear off anything important. Nope. I don't know why these didn't cut quite right. But they didn't and I am still going to use it. Even though I just tore off some of the bottom. Doesn't matter. I know what it means. <laughs> to pay can go right over here. And I'm gonna put a box right there. Where's my colorful boxes? Let's see if we got something over here that'll match. I think that silver would be nice. It won't photograph well, but oh well. And let's get the medium size box yeah I think that's better and then, that way I can put all the bills for the week even though this is not my budget planner I still want to be able to see what I gotta pay this week at a glance what else is going on so I'll be busy this day this day this day this day Let's see, there's nothing else that I need to do this week so far. I'm sure the week will start filling up. Oh, yes there is, see, I already forgot. Tomorrow I need to go to Walmart to pick up some things for my daughter to take to school for Tuesday. She failed to remind me and I forgot Saturday when we went to Walmart. Oh, there are some today stickers. I need to print some more. I'm gonna use one. And so, where is Walmart? Do I want to use one of those big Walmarts or do I need a small Walmart? Walmart. Oh, I can use one of these. These are from Dream Breezy or Dreamy Breeze, that's it. Dreamy Breeze. So that is first thing in the morning. Let's do the basics. Set out trash. And I need to make a phone call this week. Check results. That's one thing I don't want to forget to do. See what I mean about the neutral stickers from JD and Brooklyn? It seems like they just work with any and every color scheme, no matter what. And even though they have like a little touch of color, it just kind of blends in with whatever color scheme I'm using. I really like that. I like that. I don't have to worry about trying to be matchy-matchy or anything like that. Um, 
Um, I have one little spot of right. Okay, I don't like the crooked trash can. Let's fix that. Let's make them straight. So guess what we need? We need to move this out of the way. Put it over here. And we need to find us a doll to go with this, to bring this to life. I need to make a sticker that says, baby, it's cold outside. Because it's rarely cold in Florida, in Orlando. But it's cold today. And I would love to be able to put that in my planner. Oh, Monday. I do have something else to do. I gotta go get my car waxed. Um, so, it's not really car maintenance, but I'm gonna use one of the car maintenance dolls. And maybe I can just cut off where it says car maintenance. Or I could have just used some of the ones that I printed and cut myself, but this is right here, so I'm just going to use it. See, as I plan, I start remembering all the things that I didn't write down. She's cute. I need to order her individual stickers. And I'm putting her up a little higher. You know, I like to put the dolls on a line or on top of something to kind of ground them to the page. But I'm putting her up a little higher because I'm gonna come back with another box to put under her that way. Let me stick to get them from the bottom. She's standing on something. Hopefully I got, gave enough room. I don't think I did. I'm gonna move this. So I got the vacuum there already. So we need to do this on our regular scheduled weekend stuff. So I'll put it right there. All right, let's see what we can find in journaling doodles. Um, Okay, let me quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> um, it's not quite the look I was going for, but it'll have to do. So let's go ahead and pop this in. If you haven't got your um, Black Friday dashboards from Coco's Vision, um, Black Friday is fast approaching. So, And get your shopping inserts. <laughs> These inserts are available on my website at scrapcraftastic.com as printables. It's a week on two pages. It's half letter size, so they will fit in the Art Junior or Tool Junior. I'm not sure if that's what Tool calls their disc bound planner, but they will also fit in A5 rings and you can use them as A5 Traveler's Notebook inserts as well. So, pretty versatile. And I like A5, it's just just big enough. So. so this is a planner spread using the ARC Disk System note paper that comes with the planners or notebooks. That's it for this week's plan with me. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Come over and check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for exclusive content. Also, make sure you're following me over at Instagram. I'm at scrapcraftastic on Instagram. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!